Hi everybody, this is Melissa, and I wanted to show you a junk journal that I made. Uh, Fran and I are doing a swap, and she made this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous pink junk journal, and I just fell in love with it. And y'all know me, I go in my comments, I go on and on and on about stuff. So <laughs> She says, hey, she says, I have any plans for this if you want to do a swap. So, and that was like a month and a half ago, and I'm so sorry, friend. I've had so many things going on with this wedding that I started it right away. It's just taken me a month and a half to do this, literally a month and a half, working on it a little bit every day. So, anyway, it's here, it's done, and I'm so excited. <laughs> Fran also, I uh, asked her what kind she wanted. She wanted the stitch binding and uh, hardcover. And also, she doesn't want any pinks or any yellows because she likes dark fall colors. So, that was fine with me. I had a lot of stuff to do. And she also wanted my painted roses. So, I painted uh, Use Some Roses, Fran, on the cover. And then... Um, I just stitched it on the end, and this is really, uh, I try to get really a vintage look, so um, I just put some charms here on the end, Live, Laugh, Love, y'all have seen that one before, uh, little purse, little bee, little teapot, so just something fun, and then this is some Sari ribbon, I just love this ribbon, isn't it gorgeous, and it's like variegated, so it goes from purple to green to purple, and I thought it'd be really pretty with that. So, um, let's open it up, and I'll show y'all the journal. And, let's see, there we go. And, um, it started out, I painted and I mod podged everything. It started out, these pages fit perfectly inside, and it got so chunky that it went out. <laughs> so... I apologize about that, but it's it's like, as you can see how chunky it is, it's huge. It's only two signatures, but it's really, really fat. So, um, here's the first page, and I tea dyed, I mean, I copy dyed all the papers and really distressed them. So, um, and this page I got from, I believe it was Jamie Tallulah who made that for me. And let's see, and then I just have a doily here and a little tuck spot there. And this right here came from Finland. This is from my friend Tina. And she made that. Um, just some more little tuck spots here. And another page from my friend Tina. And I just like that. I love that. She stamped on that. And I can't read that because it's in finish. So. And I love this paper. Isn't that cool? I got that really dark when I tea dyed it. And just some extra little papers here. And a little belly band that my friend Shonda sent me. Shonda, who has slim cards, she sent me this little band, and I love it. And this paper is from the Dark Romance Collection. And then just a little paper clip that I made that she can use. And this uh, is came from a really, really old uh, vintage stack of papers that I got from the 70s and the 80s. So I just decided to use that envelope. Thought it was really cute there. And another little tuck spot there. And a tuck spot here. And I just made this little tag to go inside. This little image is from your ATC store. And and just a little, just more ephemera. And tuck spot here. Just a place for her to write. I love that. Isn't that cool? She can use that. And just empty places to write here. And some extra doily pieces that I had left over. And I just stapled a piece of ribbon that I had left over. I thought that looked real pretty like that. And then this, I don't know what it's made out of, but it is the coolest thing. It's like this real old um, pattern paper that you used to, you know, cut material out with and stuff. And it's from Tina, um, my friend in Finland. 
And I don't know what she did to make it shiny and waxy like this, but it is the coolest texture in the world. So, Fran, I'm giving this to you, and it was really, really hard because I've been hoarding this forever. But I've got one more piece, so I'm going to I'm gonna be selfish and keep that one for myself. And I just burned the edges and stamped this and then made this little little tag here. It's from Graphic 45. And this was actually a really cool shape and I burned the edges and it made it even more cool shape, I think. And then I stamped this here, a little steampunk thing. And I'm sure you all know about that paper collection. I can't think of the name of it. And made a little belly band here from Graphic 45, just the top of the paper. And put this um, crochet doily on there. And then I burned some more edges here to make a pocket. And then I made her this little tag. This is from the Maripos uh, collection. I think that's the name of it. I got that all distressed. And then made a little tag here. And this right here is just, I just uh, dyed some cheesecloth that I had. And here's the other side of that real old envelope. And here's the stamp date on it, April 30th, I think 1981. So I just thought that was so cool. And then I made her a little tag that goes inside the pocket. And this is not, <laughs> whoops, I dropped it. Um, Fran, this is not pink, it's actually peach. <laughs> so I hope that's okay. Okay, it's kind of a peachy orange color. And then I made her this tag and distressed it. And I just stapled it, and to hide the staple, I just put that little pearl button there. So she can use it uh, as a pocket here and a tuck spot there. And I love how I put my paper in the oven right on the rack. That's how I get these lines. Some of y'all have been asking me about that. And then just another little tuck spot and just more places to write things on. I just made her this little envelope. And then um, I made this little grungy tag. Just the other more tuck spots there. And I made her this tag with this belly band and just put this lace on there. Remember the other belly band with the crocheted little doily? Well, that's what this, that's the other piece of this belly band and I just put that lace there. Just real simple. That's a little wooden piece there. And here's the second signature. And this is from Graphic, I mean, this is from your ATC store as well. Another little tuck spot. And this, you know, she can write on both sides. And then, what did this go to? <laughs> I must have made that and I don't know. I was gonna put it on something, I guess. And a little tag I made here. This cute little pocket. And another page from my friend from Finland. Isn't that pretty? I love that. And then I bought these online. Forgot the name of the store. I'm so sorry. I have a video on it though. Jamie Tallulah bought some too. I love it. Love that card and I just made a tag out of it. And just stamped that on there. And then I made a little tag out of this graphic 45 with these little children in the tree. I love that. And just a big old huge card and just stamp with my scallop punch there. Let's see. There we go. And made her another paper clip to hold things. So I thought that turned out really, really cute. And I love this little image, just something simple. And Jamie Tallulah made this for me. Isn't that pretty? I just love that. So I decided to share it in this journal. And another page from Tina that she stamped on. And then I just made this little tuck spot area with this little bookmark piece. And 
it just tucks right inside there. I just used a flower and I stained it and another little crocheted little flower on top of that. And then lace belly band in Texas to show her so she'll remember it came from Texas. And just glued that there and just another little place to write and journal. Gotta get rid of all these glue strings. <laughs> another uh, page from Tina that I just love from that book. Again, it's in in Finnish. Is that how you say it? Finnish? Anyway, it's really cool. And then a little tuck spot here. And just another little tuck spot here. She wants to use that. And then this is the last page. And I made this little pocket. And then a little tag here. Another tag here. And that just goes in like that. And that's it. So... Anyway, um, sorry, all my glue is stuck on here. But anyway, there it is. And Fran, I hope you like it. I really enjoyed making it for you. And um, all of y'all who haven't subscribed, please subscribe to me. I would love to, uh, I love having my new subs and everything. So anyway, hope y'all are having a great week and have a great weekend. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.